One of these men will instantly put their name in heavyweight title contender tournament. <laughs> One of these men will put their names in contention to be a champion. Levy Richters squaring off against Marciano. Wugwandas is our first of two fights in this tournament. It's time for our tale of the tape. The first fight of Glory 76. Richter's 25 years old, 6 foot 6, 240, with a reach of 80. As for Buwandas, he's 29, 6 foot 5, 257. Professional experience, a seventh fight edge for Buwandas. Both guys undefeated, and some KO and power advantages going to Buwandas. Tournament rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Punches, kicks, and knees are legal. Two knockdowns in a round or three in the fight, and it results in a TKO. Tonight's belts are going to be scored using the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns, followed by cumulative damage inflicted, followed by number of clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular technique over normal scoring techniques. Finally, at that point, if there's no advantage, judges look for aggression. We do have open scoring tonight. Three judges will score it on a 10-point must system. The scores will be shown on your screen after each round. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Glory Heavyweight Tournament semifinal. Three rounds of three minutes. Introducing first our fighter from the black corner. He holds a professional record of 70 fights, no losses, and eight by knockout. His height is 6.5 feet and 197 centimeters tall. His weight is 257.5 pounds and 160.8 kilograms. Representing Suriname, introducing Marciano! Bugwanda! And his opponent, representing the white corner, he holds a professional record of 10 fights, no losses, and three by knockout. His height is 6.6 .6 feet and 200 centimeters tall. His weight is 240.1 pounds and 108.9 kilograms. Representing the Netherlands, here comes the judge, Levy Richter! Three rounds of three minutes, ladies and gentlemen, and the referee of this contest is Mr. Jan Frana. Fighters to the middle. Check hands. Flow, glory rules. Good luck, back to the corners. I would never say this to his face, but Cut. the Wandas looks Cut. like he's wearing a diaper. Yeah. Time. He's got <laughs> those high roll tie Fight. shorts. Yeah. Room for more movement. He comes right out and goes after Richters. And Richters found that right hand early. It's one of his most dangerous shots. You got a 260 pound monster in front of you who says he's a headhunter. Let's see what Bugwandis has in store for the 25 year old Dutch fighter. When I watch Richters, I see a little bit of a D'Angelo Marshall in him. Tall, young. So I have a feeling Richters is going to develop really nicely here in the heavyweight division. Don't want to speak too early. You know that power that Bogwandas has. Bogwandas from the country of Suriname in South America, but now fights out of Amsterdam. Victor's is really good with his kicks and his right hand. Those are the two big weapons. But he's always looking to set up his knees. We asked Bogwandas if he has any pre-fight rituals, and he said, actually, I do. I always rub spicy Thai oil all over my body before I fight. Yeah, Thai liniment, it's nice to kind of get the muscles warm. If you've been in Muay Thai fights before, you can smell that liniment from blocks down the road. You look at Bogwandas, at least I do, and I see two things. A big, strong guy and a guy that might gas out at the end of a fight, considering how much weight he's carrying around. Yeah, and especially the way Richters is fighting, and just that good pressure, trying to attack the body. Saying, low blow. Right to the big belly goes Richters. Yeah, level changing, man. That's the key here for Richters. Mixing those strikes. Break! Richter's 10-0 with four knockouts. He's got some pop as well. 
And at 25 years old, he looks just like a natural heavyweight, so he'll probably be putting on size as he gets a little older, too. He's got to be careful dropping that head, does Richters, because Puguadis loves to throw knees. Just missing with a wild right hand. Step back. Let's see, Bhagwan does wanted a, a few extra seconds in that clinch, so he might be right. Fatigue could be a factor. Especially when you're getting punched in the body, that doesn't help the gas tank. He's a lot less. Oh, big right hand. Yep, it's that overhand shot that Rickstars has. And now you can't he's, see it. And now he's measuring it up again. Yeah, trying, to, trying to get him to drop those gloves down. Yeah, it's going to go right behind that left glove of Bugwanda's. Boom. And have become great kickboxers. Some of them, Tyrone Spong, Ernesto Hoost, and Remy Boniaski. And look at some of this action here is Richter's right hand. Look at that power. Nicely looped, you know, like a slight overhand. Just went right behind that glove, and that seems to be his money shot in this fight. How aggressive do you become if you're Richter's to get this guy out of here, knowing you're going to fight again later tonight? Well, I don't think that Bogwandas has given too many power shots back, so maybe staying patient for Richter's is the key. Keeping his distance and just avoiding those power shots from Bogwandas, especially in the beginning of the fight. Richter's busier and more accurate, doubling up the shots of Bogwandas. And you can see now he's starting to set up that right hand. And using his jab, perfect. Nice right uppercut by Richter's. Yeah, you get, you get Bogwandas thinking of an overhand right, and then you slide that uppercut. We do have open scoring, as I mentioned, and there are the judges' scores, all three scoring it for Richter's. Nice right hand again around that guard. Yeah, it's that power Go. style from that right side of Richter's. He uses his jab, and he'll mix a right low kick, right overhand, or uppercut. So using the jab to set up his right power side. Bagwandas looks like he's ready to go. Will, will the big tree go timber? Yep, he's not putting too much power into these low kicks. He's just not oh, sure. <laughs> right when I say he's running out of gas, he tries that. Your favorite strike, Todd, isn't it? Rolling thunder. It's not. It's uh, Sergei Adamchuk's favorite strike, that's for sure. It's one of my least favorites, to be honest. You end up on the ground. You can't follow up on it. If you miss, now you're on the ground. It's not really a good martial arts technique. You didn't have to poo-poo all over it, Joe. Jeez, I liked it. <laughs> well, I'm a low kicker, you know that. Keep it basic, keep it simple. But you can see that patience from Richter's now. Picking his shots, very accurate. And a lot of fighters, especially in tournament formats, they like to box a lot in that first round, kind of save their shins. You can tell Bogwandis is trying to save his energy to throw one big shot about every 15 seconds or so. Meanwhile, Richter's just picks him apart. Yeah, I'm loving those body rips, that shoe shine to the body. Stay back. Yeah, Stay back. No holding you. on. Stay back. I mean, <laughs> it's Stop. a arm triangle. Stop. Stop. No holding. He's, he's, Stop. He doesn't want any more. No holding. Fight. He is ready to go. Richter's just needs to give him a reason to go down. Yep, there's that left touch combination. He's Stop. dead. Shot. One. And there it is. I don't think he's going to want to get Two. up either. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, out. And that's it. The judge, jury, and executioner, Levi Richters, gets the win and will advance to our tournament final. Yes, sniping his shots, picking them up perfectly. And that investment in the body paid off. Got him a TKO finish. So he will improve to 11-0 with five knockouts. But Wanda had a good first half of the first round. Yeah, before he gassed out, he was trying to throw his knees that he likes and some bombing punches, but Richter stayed smart, stayed patient, picked his shots, and got the finish.
And a lot of what I like from Ricksters is using his jab to set up that power side on the right side. He landed some good right hands, and that uppercut was just something spectacular. And the way he set it up was just perfect. But ultimately, it was that body work that Ricksters invested in. He was touching up stop, ripping the bottom, picking his shots. I mean, that's how you conserve energy. You want to find the shots. Don't waste too much energy on the setups. Patient, frame, rip the body, get the finish. You knew Bogwandas was done when he refused to let go of that hold. And Richters gave him a reason to get out of the fight. A second round knockout for the 25-year-old making his glory debut. Strike count statistics, pretty much one-way traffic. 77 total strikes landed for Richters compared to 29 of 67 for Bogwandas. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner in the last 30 seconds of round number two. And by KO decision, the winner from the white corner, Levy Richters! So, Joe, you've been in, in tournaments before. What's the game plan now for Richters? Well, it's for him just to stay patient, stay relaxed. And, I mean, I'm someone who likes to keep moving. If sometimes you, you sit, the blood starts to pull. So it might be beneficial for him to just stay moving, light shadow boxing, but ultimately stay calm, stay relaxed. You just got a knockout. You want to get excited, but you need to hold those emotions in and wait till after that second fight to let it out. It's Glory 76 tonight, but another card just as big and just as bad is headed your way live on January 30th. Levy, this is your debut at Glory, coming in with a knockout. How do you feel, man? Good, good. Can always go better. I, want him, uh, I wanted him to go in the first, but it was in the second, so that's okay. He, no injury, so. He was a tough guy, right? Yeah, he was a big guy. But his conditioning was not good. Yeah, I heard it in the first round, his breathing. So I knew if I hit him to the body, it would be over. How do you feel physically? Yeah, good. I said it, no injuries. So I'm ready for the second fight. Awesome. We'll see you in the final, buddy. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.